Welcome back to my channel. In today's video, we will be making hamster treats with minimal ingredients that you should be able to make at your home for your hamster as well. And it is a very fun process. And my current hamster, Moose, absolutely loves these treats. He is a male long-haired Syrian hamster. So if your dwarf hamster doesn't like these, um, that might be why. Sometimes they have different tastes and things like that. But I still hope your hamster enjoys them. Um, my Syrian does, so hopefully your Syrians do. And if you have any dwarfs, let me know if they like these as well. They're super easy to make and they are on the healthier uh, side of hamster treats so you can feed it a little bit more often but obviously still feed in regulation. It's super quick, super easy. It does require an oven and a few other supplies so let's get right into today's video. Before we go and make them, I do want to preface this video by saying that I also will be including a little hamster haul slash pet haul at the end of today's video because I just recently got some really cool items for my hamster and I think it's mostly for my hamster, but I think a few things are for my birds as well and maybe for my gecko who's behind me. I also have a ton of Christmas decorations set up in my room. If you noticed it, it isn't finished yet so I'm not going to make a video on it until you guys ask for it or something like that, but I do have that just adding to the holly jolly feeling because it is pretty much December right now and it will be December when this video goes up. So I hope you guys enjoy today's video. Also, these treats don't last forever, so make sure you keep an eye on them and whatever container you're keeping them in. For the most important things that you will need, you will need buckwheat flour or some sort of healthy flour. You can of course just use white flour that you have around the kitchen or even multi-grain flour and things like that. Um, but this is the healthier choice. You will also need a bit of your chosen baby food. You will also just need a very little bit of some plain whole yogurt. You will also want to have some flax seeds um, as a topping, but you don't need them, but this definitely makes it um, more appealing to your hamster. So you will want to just go ahead and preheat your oven to 350 degrees um, and wait for this to warm up while you make the batter. All right, so first step, I'm going to take some of my baby food and put it into a bowl. You're going to need a considerable amount of this. This is going to be like the base of your batter, so keep that in mind. Now we're going to add in some of our buckwheat multi-purpose flour and we're just going to keep adding it in and putting more liquid as we need and like basically eyeballing the entire recipe because that's the best way to get it to the best consistency to make a batter from it, to make little cookies out of it. So that is what I'm going to do. There's no specific measurements. I'm just kind of eyeballing it and trying my best to get it to the consistency I want. So this is a pretty good consistency. I'm gonna pause here and we're going to go ahead and add in some of my whole yogurt. And we're just gonna add a little spoonful of it to add some more flavor, lighten up the mixture. And this might mean I need to add a little bit more flour to keep it from being too sticky. And I was gonna do that possibly already because it is kind of sticky still. So that is what I'm gonna do next. I'm just gonna add some more flour to balance this out and then we should be ready to roll it out and cut some shapes to make the treats. So this should be the final consistency, and now we're gonna go ahead and set our space right here where we can roll some dough out. Um, I'm going to put some of the flour, the buckwheat flour, on the top first so it doesn't stick, and we're also gonna add it to each of the cutters, the cookie cutters I'm using, and anything else to keep it from sticking. For cookie cutter shapes, I am going with this cute little leaf design and a little heart design because it's simple, basic, and works. And you can see they're very small. Um, so you could definitely just make little balls if you don't have these. Again, I got them at Hobby Lobby for very cheap. Two packs of them with different shapes um, for like ceramics, which I am in, but I am not using these for ceramics because I wanted them for something a bit more basic, like cutting out shapes for my hamster that he won't appreciate, but I do, so yeah. You also wanna use a chopstick to help push out the shapes gently out of here in case they stick, but I will be putting some flour on my cutters just like you do for um, Christmas cookies and stuff, so yeah. All right, I know they look really dark from this angle, but I assure you they're more of a gray color um, with like an orangey look to them in person, but I think it's just my lighting. But as you can see, I have a bit of a mess going on, but we have the cookies I wanted to keep. All 
right, all of the cookies are trayed up on their cupcake liners because I couldn't find parchment paper. My oven has been preheated and ready to go for a couple minutes now, so I'm gonna use some oven mitts and put it in the oven, and we're gonna set the timer for around five, seven minutes and check on it every five to seven minutes to make sure they're not burning because they're super small. As you can see, I'm pretty sure they're done, so I'm just gonna check right now. All right, so they are all done. I'm going to put them on this little plate right here just to let them cool off for probably an hour or so, and then I'll put them into just some uh, Ziploc bags, and that's what I keep them in for while they're still good. Alright guys, now on to the final part of today's video, the part that I've been most excited for because I have gotten some really good gifts for the pets over the past couple weeks. So let's get right into the haul. So I got a couple of things from Amazon with a past birthday gift card I had. And one of the first things I got from Amazon, I already posted about on my community tab uh, like a couple days ago whenever I got it. But it is this really cool hamster book. Um, it is one of the first updated hamster books in all of history of hamster, hamster history, um, that actually demonstrates, um, hamsters in the proper way that they're supposed to be demonstrated. Like it has the proper hamster care, um, and requirements, and it actually can help you teach younger kids about the proper hamster care and things like that. And besides just help educate the younger kids on the actual updated care that hamsters need. It also just has really cute photos uh, and illustrations of hamsters as a person who loves hamsters um, so much. They're my favorite animal and I've had them since I was nine. Um, this is just the cutest book to ever have in my like little hamster collection. Um, it has some of the cutest illustrations and it is based off of the author's uh, personal hamster um, who is a dwarf Russian Campbell's a hamster and his name is Roman and it is a made author's hamster and there are pictures of her actual hamster at the back of the book and halfway through the book. So yeah, I actually just really appreciate this book existing and for the author and illustrator to uh, spend their time in actually creating an accurate hamster book that not only educates a lot of people on a lot of different things they may not know about hamsters, but it also just, I believe, helps show how fun it can be to have a properly good experience with your hamster by giving them proper care. And the next thing I got was the Bukastat Mushroom Hideout. It is the ceramic hideout on Amazon that I've been eyeing for, I swear, like a couple years. Um, I absolutely love the design of it. It is this nice brown mushroom. And of course, I have a mushroom obsession like most people I feel like nowadays, which is kind of weird, but I was really looking for another ceramic hideout because Moose loves ceramic hideouts so much. And I love the brand Bukostat. It is a budding new brand, just like Night Angel once was. And it makes really nice uh, hamster products from what I've seen so far. I've gotten some forage boards from them, this, but this is really nice quality. And so are the forage boards that I've gotten. Um, this is really, really nice. It did come with a little cushion to go on the inside, as you may see. And this is not really suitable for hamsters within their enclosure uh, without monitoring them because they could easily chew on it and ingest any part of this which wouldn't be safe. So this cushion isn't suitable, so it's kind of weird that they put it in here, but then again, if you have another small animal, maybe you could give them the cushion, but I doubt it. Anyways, you can just take the cushion out though, and you could definitely keep the cushion in if you're going to monitor your hamster with it, um, maybe in like playpen time or something like that. What I'm gonna do with the cushion so it doesn't go to waste is use it for photo purposes when I'm monitoring Moose on it and for in his playpen so he can go on a little cushion uh, and I'll watch him obviously to make sure he doesn't chew on it. And as for the ceramic hide itself, it will be going in his enclosure when I clean out his enclosure for December, which is coming up soon. And that is when I will also give him a Christmas makeover. But I really love this. I would recommend it. Anyways, um, so I got the birds this new thing. One second. I got them this bird kebab to replace their old one. They love these. Um, if you have budgier guard parakeets, I would recommend this. They're never scared of it like other toys since they're smaller parakeets and they love shredding it. And this is like the medium one. I've gotten them the bigger one and the smaller one in the past. They don't care. They like them all. And yeah, I got them this. It's pretty cheap. I got it at PetSmart. Also from PetSmart's Christmas line, I got Moose this Christmas chew toy. It's called the Holiday Wood Chew by the Marion Bright Collection. 
and it's just a small animal chew and it's really really cute it is just a little snowman wooden chew toy with a little like willow ball wicker ball attached with some twine through the middle of it so it's pretty interesting and i've never seen a chew toy quite like this but it is pretty I also big. got toast something at PetSmart by the marion bright collection as well really cute it is a little like um bearded dragon with a santa costume on however it was only a dollar and honestly you can't really tell it's a bearded dragon because of the beard so for that reason we'll pretend it's a leopard gecko it just looks like a lizard to me duh i'm not delulu at all um so yeah and I want to put it on his cage, but I'm definitely just going to give it to him as his Christmas stocking stuffer because it fits. I got a Trueproof KT water bottle, and I've wanted this water bottle for a while because of the things I've seen about the current water bottle I use for my hamster, which is the Full Cheeks stainless steel glass water bottle. I love it, and I would still recommend it to you guys over any plastic water bottle or other glass water bottle. However, I am going to try this one out because I've seen a lot of good things about this one and the ball in it is just better than the one I have currently. The one currently I have to make sure it's not stuck sometimes and this one apparently is like the perfect one and it's also KT and it has a cute little duck in it so I'm really excited. This was dirt cheap as well. So I got some of this KT food by the wild or food from the wild and this is the natural snack blend. So it has some um, carrots and strawberries that are freeze dried in it so feed accordingly but it also has a lot of good herbs and flowers so I got this to mix with this which is the rosewood forage blend I talk about a lot on my channel um it just looks like this it is called the naturals uh nature's salad by rosewood and I actually find it at Walmart which is kind of crazy and I'm so thankful that my Walmart has a really nice brand like this on their pet shelves because I don't have much else that's that nice like this um, it does have some corn and some bigger pieces of food that isn't healthy for most small animals. So I do pick those out, but besides that, it's pretty high in like leaves and flowers and herbs. So I really enjoy it. It smells so good. Um, and it looks just like this. So if you're at your local Walmart or any pet store, look for this because I recommend this as a forage. It is really good. And this is what I've been using with my hamsters for a while now and they love it. So it makes their cage smell and look amazing. So that is everything that I got in the past couple weeks for Moose, my hamster, and all my other pets. I hope you enjoyed the tutorial on how to make hamster treats safely that your hamster will hopefully really enjoy and you'll enjoy making them. Hope you guys and enjoyed I today's video. I love filming it for you guys and happy holidays. I know it's not quite Christmas yet and it just wrapped up Thanksgiving, but still happy holidays because it's right in that sweet spot in between holidays, which I love. And I'll see you guys next time. Bye, guys.